another YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about solving and comparing using inequalities. In this substrate, we are supposed to solve before comparing. Solving comes first before comparing. This side, you need, there's a, a sum to work out, and this side is just one digit. So you can't compare a digit with a sum that is not yet solved. So the first thing we work out this side before comparing. A half of 8, it means multiplied by 8, when you're multiplying a, a fraction by a whole number, you normally change the whole number into a fraction. And now you can be able to cross multiply by 2, 1, by 2, 4. 1 times 4, it's 4. And now, on this side, after working out all this, we get 4. So 4 dash 4. If you compare 4 and 4, how are they related? 4 and 4 are equal. And in the mathematics, the equal sign is written as that. So 4 is equal to 4. You're only getting this 4 after working out. Then after working out now, you, you compare and you put the right inequality. So the first step, we solve before comparing. So we solve, we solve whatever is on the right, left and also whatever is on the right. 100 take away 1, it's 99. Our dash remains. 9 times 11, it's 99. As you can see, on the left is equal to the right. So we put the equal sign. What about this kind of a question? So let's start by solving whatever is on the left, which is a half multiplied by 420. All this is over 1. So by 2, 1. By 2, it's 2. 1, 0. So on the left we get 210. Our, our dash remains there. Let's now solve whatever is on the right. A half multiplied by 350 over 1. By 2 it's 1. By 2 it's 1 because in 3 there is only 1, 2. Then the remainder becomes 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7 because of 14. 1, we put it here, it becomes 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. On this side, it's 175. Now, let's compare whatever is on the right with whatever is on the left. So, 210 is bigger than 170, in the, than 175. In the mathematics, bigger than, it's written as greater than, using this kind of a simple. Let's go to the next question. As you can see here, whatever is on the left is the sum to be worked out. Whereby, we're supposed to add these two fractions. Already, this one, it's in mixed fraction so let's also work out here leaving our answer like this one in mixed fraction the denominators are the same so 2 plus 6 it's 8 over 7 this is improper fraction we change we can either change also this one to improper fraction or we change this one to mixed fraction so this one as a mixed fraction it's 8 divided by 7 which is 1 because of 7, remainder 1. So it's going to be 1 and 1 over 7. The dash is still there, 1, 2 over 7. When you compare 1 and 1 over 7 and 1, 2 over 7, this one is less than this one. So we put the sign for showing less than, which is L. L for less than. Let's work out our next example. Let's first solve before comparing so on this side is a fraction and this side is a whole numbers four take away two it's two five over eight take away three over eight five take away three it's two so two and two over eight we can simplify this by two one by two four so on the left we have two and a quarter. We leave our dash there for comparison. Then 48 divided by 24. It's 2. 2 and a quarter and 2. This one is bigger than this. Therefore, the sign for showing bigger or greater is this. So when you are comparing now, we use this sign, meaning 2 quarter is greater than 2. Let's do our last example. We start solving on our left. So 86 divided by 12, it's 8. Because 8 times 12 is 96. On our right, 12 times 8, it's 96. Therefore, when you compare 8 and 96, 8 is less than 96. And this is our sign. I wish you the best. 
and kindly remember to subscribe, share with friends, and also leave a comment. Also practice, remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.